Historic change in relations between the United States and Cuba was discussed over the weekend at the Vatican City when Cuban leader Raul Castro met privately with Pope Francis. Castro thanked the pontiff for his part in helping to restore the diplomatic relations between the two countries. And there was also a big surprise during the meeting. CBS 4's Walter McCullough is here with more on the secret meetings leading up to this point and what Castro said he was inspired to do. Walter. Well, Elliot, they met for nearly an hour at the Vatican yesterday morning. And by the time the visit was over, the 83-year-old Castro, who had been an atheist uh, for most of his life, he had said that the Pope inspired him to consider returning to the Catholic Church. It was an historic meeting of about 50 minutes before leaving the Vatican to meet with the Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. Raul Castro and Pope Francis communicated with each other in a private meeting in Spanish. The meeting was a long time in the making as several other meetings between the U.S. and Cuba took place at the Vatican. But the big key to tie it all together was secrecy and timing. Havana was obsessed about Los Cinco's, five Cubans caught spying in the U.S. Washington wanted American contractor Alan Gross freed from a Cuban jail. Senator Patrick Leahy had been involved for years. And we knew the president was going to be meeting with Pope Francis in the Vatican. And I thought, hmm. Cuban Cardinal Jamie Ortega used a Vatican diplomatic courier to take a note from Leahy to the pope asking him to intervene on humanitarian grounds. A few days later, through a secret letter, Francis told President Obama that resolving the Cuba issue would reap huge benefits for the U.S. and Latin America. A U.S. Cardinal helped deliver it to Mr. Obama on a visit. Man comes up and said, hi, I'm Barack Obama. I understand you have a letter for me, or words to that effect. The letter stated that the Cuban Cardinal was speaking officially for Pope Francis. By the time the meeting was over, a source involved said a plan of action had been outlined. American and Cuban delegations met at least twice inside the impenetrable confines of the Vatican. I'm not sure we would have gotten right to the tipping point right over the spot without Pope Francis. According to Vatican sources, at least nine more secret meetings were held in Ottawa and Toronto. And like they say, the rest is history. The Pope will visit Cuba in September before heading to the U.S., and it's possible that Raul Castro could be a Catholic by then. Meanwhile, Castro is back in Havana. He's expected to meet later today with French President Francois Hollande. Walter McCullough, CBS4 News.